one thing that has weirded me out in Japan from the beginning has been people pushing their dogs on a stroller. And honestly, I bet the dogs would be much happier just walking around on their own feet. You know, like normal people or dogs in this case. And they have like dolls clothes put on them and they just look like as cute as possibly they can. The dogs pretty much honestly have better drip than I do. Something about treating dogs like they're a doll and like objectifying them this way has kind of always just caused me, you know, raised eyebrows like this when I walk around in the city. I'm like, hmm? I guess most people think that the most popular dog breed in Japan is Shiba Inu, but actually it's number one is Toy Poodle and then number two is Chihuahua. Or an Ch Chihuahua? Chihuahua, Chihuahua, there we go. All the old women here just wanna put makeup on the Chihuahua and just stuff it in their purse. It feels like in Asia, either you put ribbons or bells on the dogs or ketchup and mustard. I just think if the animals are kept as a pet or eaten, they should be treated as like animals and not as objects. But yes, I do know that the factory pork and chicken that I eat, that's they're not treated like as animals. I don't even know if they're treated like objects. They're treated like they're nothing. And with 8 billion people, this utopia idea of mine, I know it's not happening. If nothing else, I hope it would be mandatory for pretty much all people to at least for once hunt their own food. This would make at least us fat white people appreciate our chicken McNuggets a bit more. I guess what I'm saying is that traveling and seeing how other cultures treat their animals has done nothing but strengthen my cognitive dissonance regarding animal care. British people get mad when Finnish people eat reindeer. Indians get mad when German people eat cow. American people get mad when Chinese people eat dogs. Dormer gets mad when we cremate perfectly edible meat. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. And sadly though, because I wish if there was a non-naive, easily understood right way to treat animals, regardless of pretty much of the situation, it would make at least my own emotional life much more easier. Too many times in Japan, too many to count, I've been like, what is this? Am I in the wrong? Are they are in the wrong? Should I support this? Should I just enjoy this? I just don't know. I saw a turtle being held in this like super small size bowl. And when I was a kid, I remember my friend had a pet turtle and he had the turtle had this like huge terrario with grass everything put in there and then this guy is in like this small bowl like it was so small for the size it's like my apartment it's it's not something that anyone should live in and actually i mean i even pay for my apartment so uh, i guess the turtle has it all i also once went to this uh, old aquarium in kanagawa it's now defunct. I think since last year they stopped gladly since they had uh, their dolphin. They had a dolphin show, but the dolphin was like kept in this kitty sized pool. It was, I, I can't even say, well, I, I know how smart dolphins are. They try to rape women and they have gay sex, you know, they're like me. I, I think we can kind of all agree that the dolphin shouldn't be kept in a kitty pool, right? There was also, like when you went inside, they had the glass and the things, fishes, whatever, inside. There was one small uh, glass box and he had like a huge crab in it. But the crab was way too big for the box, so it had to be like sideways. The other legs were like on the wall, other legs on the ground, it just stood there like sideways. And like, I took a picture and was like, holy shit, this, this, this is not real. Also the fishing thing, I cannot come up now with the name in Japan, but you know when they fish with the thing in festivals in Japan, that's also still very popular. You just, you catch a goldfish, you put it in a plastic bag, you go home and you flush it down the toilet pretty much. Then there's the animal cafes, which can be fun to visit. I've visited many of them, probably will from now on too. Or even zoos, I mean zoos like anywhere. Uh, they are fun, but you still get these feelings like, oh, like these animals shouldn't be inside here. The cages are too small. You just, you know, you get these feelings when you're in there. And at that point, you've already paid for it. You've supported it. And it's honestly not that big of a deal that you should throw a fit over it. But it does make you feel a bit bad still. 
and sometimes when I try to be to like the people around me like oh I, I feel bad for this guy and the answer you get is what are you talking about it just makes you think like am I the asshole I really don't have a much bigger point here other than that I've seen a lot of weird stuff and if any of you guys ever travel far enough that the people start looking different than you do they probably start thinking different than you do too and I guess the thing is just don't think you're right because you're not like what do you know just be mentally prepared to see a lot of weird stuff and I mean if it wears you out just act like you know when you act in the barber when the barber gives you a shitty haircut and they ask oh how does it look and you're just like yeah it looks good thank you